in reality before it really worked, you know? Crazy. So anyway, it's supposed to be safe. And uh, I had to go kind of find all that stuff. I'm crazy to listen to Hans out. What, what did he do while Alan was talking? <laughs> You know, did you hear about that? that? There was all these recordings of the days when Alan Watts was giving a lot of lectures and things, and Kantab would play while really? Alan would recite or read, or I did not they were friends. That. Really? Mm -hmm. And so there's all these recordings of Kantab. I don't know, all these might mean two, but I know there are recordings of So where, I missed it, where are they? They used to be housed in San Anselmo, uh -huh. and I was just saying that I was just remembering yesterday, I need to go find all that recordings. Try to get copies for the library. Sure. That's cool. Where were we? <laughs> Lost? Takadimi, Takadimi. Yeah? Do you guys have any questions to start with? Or? No? You want to just review some of them? I have one. If yeah. we were to take this class again, would we start in the same place, or do you like go into sort of advanced Tala at all from class you to never class? Never step in the same Tala class twice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Alan Watts, I'm thinking always like Zen Zen. Yeah, exactly. Um, we have done a Tala two class in the past, but only a couple of times. But it's really based on you know like if we did this and then you guys were like let's let's do more, then if there's people that want to do that, then we we do it. Um, there's also been some times where people have taken it more than once, um, and yeah. I mean, at least I've been teaching for a while now. But 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 every time I do it, it's yeah. I'm covering similar stuff, but always in different ways and new materials and stuff. So so yeah. or you can always do private lessons and things like that. And so that's what I did when I was doing my work. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. I think we had done some things around the different different speeds, right? With the, with the Teka, right? And we got to one and a half speed, is that right? Yeah. yeah. And we introduced that at the end. We, that's right, we ended there. Okay, right? So, so before we get there, let's, let's again, the root of this, we just take a phrase, Taka, right? these four. Just doing it once would be Ta. D, e, ta, ta, D, double, ta, ka, D, mi, ta, ka, D, mi, ta, ka, D, mi, ta, three, uh, 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 ta, ka, D, mi, 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 now if we go so what we what did we cover one two three four we skipped five Although we could, I think we even tried it last week. Six, we skipped seven, and we did eight, right? Now, what was one and a half? How did we get to one and a half? We started with three. <laughs> exactly. We did what? I didn't process it too well from there. Well, one and a half, if you say metrically, is what? Divided three and a half. Yeah. Half of three is one and a half, 1.5, right? So half of three means every other syllable. If we start with three, like ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta 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 ta. So the second beat's gonna fall right in between. Ta 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 ki ta ta. Or ta ka di mi. Now, hold on. So look at taki ta. If I go ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta, that's going to resolve after two beats. Ta ki ta ta ki ta 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 ta
ti ta ta ti ta ta ti but try four ta ka di mi 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 So there's three things going on here. The fundamental thing is the B, right? The second thing is our speed is this one and a half speed. And the third thing is our phrase is in four, right? Now, why are we trying that? Because we're leading up to review da, de, de, da, da, de, de, da, da. Now we have 16 beats over all of this. Right? So let's just try. I'm going to do uh, one per beat. Then we'll do one and a half before we go to two, because we're going to go sequentially. So it's, it's just simple math. 1.5 is going to be less than two. Two, three, four, all the way up. So if we go. But now with with keeping the the tala with the clapping pattern. So if we go da, din, din, ta, ta, din, din, ta, ta, din, din, ta, de, de, din, ta, ta. So and da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, ta. and we could go on six or eight or whatever. Following it so far? Not really. Where's your question? Um, all the all the fingers and the claps and the claps. Okay, so let's review the the, the, the basics my, the basics of it, right? So so there's two things, fundamental things that are happening here. One. So three things. The the fundamental thing is just the concept of the beat. Okay. It's not an Indian beat or American beat or African <laughs> beat. Just the beat. Okay. Right. Now, what gets Indian, as soon as we start talking about tala or rhythm cycle, so 16 beat cycle, so we have one, so that's what we're showing here. Now, we don't just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, it's too much. So we break it up even chunks, 4, 4, 4, 4, okay? So we're, just, we're, we're exploring here what is tala, right? So tala is a cycle of beats. That cycle also is broken up into different sections called vibhags. The word doesn't matter. But so we have four. Here's another way you can count it, right? Have I showed you guys this way yet? Yeah. Did I? Right? So you can count it also that way. One. I missed that day, actually. Yeah. So it's just as even if in the markets in India, sometimes you'll see people counting, adding up how much the tomatoes are this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, I was also taught that for doing mantras. Yeah, yeah. Meditation. that's right, that's right. So it's another way we can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? Now, the classical, traditional way is this clapping pattern, where it's clap, pinky, ring, middle, clap, pinky, ring, middle, this is Kali, this is this, this empty section. Nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right? This whole way of doing it, I've, I've taken from Kathak dancers. Kathak North Indian dancers will do, do it that way. And the traditional way, the first eight beats are done the same way. The well, see what I'm doing? I'm here and then here. Oh, so. Just to show the first section, second section, third section, oh, fourth section. Okay, I got you. Yeah. yeah. I, I missed that. Yeah, yeah. Now, you can just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This helps, I think, a little bit to show, especially if you're going very slow and doing all these different speeds. It's very easy to get lost, like which clap am I on? You know what I mean? So that's, that's, that's one thing. I'm not even, I don't care if I so, and you'll see people just go, especially faster, we're not going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, these particular syllables called the teka, da, din, din, da, da, etc. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, why is that? There are other talas. You could have, for instance, you could have a 14 beat cycle, and you might divide that 3, 4, 3, 4. And you might have a certain set of syllables to go with that 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4. You could have another 14 beat cycle, and you might divide it 2, 5, 3, 4, and a different set of syllables. So I'm, I'm saying all this because if you just say, oh, it's a 16 beat cycle, the question is, well, which 16 beat cycle? So for instance, and this is in that Sati book if you have it, there's a light classical tala called Sitakani. The syllable da gli ga da. Try to say that. Da gli ga da. We say it again. Ta ga di ga da. In the middle, ta ka ti ka da ga. I'm going to keep it simple first. Ta ka ti ka ta. Ta ka ti ka ta. Ta ga di ga da. Ta ga di ga da. Okay, the rhythm. Ta ga di ga da. Ta ga ta. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right? So this this is also sixteen beats. It's also four 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 four. But listen to the different feeling of it. Da ga da da ga di 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 da da ga di ga da da ga di ga da da Da, da. Totally different character. Mm -hmm. Still 16 beats, still 4, 4, 4, 4. Still, actually, the 16 beats being clap, clap, wave, clap. Right? Same pattern. But because the teka is different, totally different quality. Yeah? Any questions on that part? What, uh, what was the phrase you said earlier? The, the different chunks of the take like the Vipog, yeah. Are the vip, is the Vipog still 4444 four, four, four as well? It is. Dogging? In both of these talas, yeah. Okay, just the phrasing is what makes it a different take. The, 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 the phrase is different. The phrase and the syllables in the phrase. Yeah. The first one is all, the phrase is just very straight. Da, din, din, da, da. This one is really unique because it has this phrasing of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, da, 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 da. Okay. All right. Do a little experiment, right? So we have up the, there are these two phrases, taka and takita, right? From those three, we can we can build anything else, really. It's almost like like with computers, where everything is actually ones and zeros. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's everything. You can one way to analyze is looking at everything being twos and threes, right? 
So for instance, if you just start improvising, meaning I'm going to take, those are the only two words I can say. I'm going to start stringing them together. Forget about even the beat, the tall, anything. Just takita, takita, taka, taka, takita, taka, takita, takita, taka, 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 takita, 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 taka, 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 takita, 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 taka, taka, takita, takita, taka, 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 So try. Taka, 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 taki, taka, taka, taki, taka, taka, taki, taka, 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 taki, taka, taka, taki, Beautiful. Now what happens, I'm not going to talk about Tala yet, but I'm going to just talk about keeping a beat, right? And let's say we're going to go, or four per beat. Now what happens if we just start improvising with this? So you do it on your own, like you can, you can hide under my voice. And let's. We'll turn up the volume taka, if we had a little mix taka, up so we're going to hear each other. Taka, taka, taki, ta, taka, taka, taki, ta, taka, taka, taki, ta, taka, taka, taki, ta, taka, 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 taka. Yeah? Good, okay. Now, here's a new, so we're doing a little game here, a little bit of a game with just these two syllables. So, new rule to the game. You can double uh, any of the phrases, so taka or takita. So, for instance, I might go, so just play with it. If you want to make it easier, just double the two, the taka. The doubling the three is a little hard. Yeah. It's the speed. Let's hear. Let's try. Taka, 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 Okay, but you're going in a direction, so the next thing we can do, so, so far we've just been in, in really actually we've been in four, taka, taka, or eight, taka, 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 but now what if we bring in phrasing in three, like, 
So you 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 get yourself in a little jam and get yourself out. So is the beat staying constant? Hopefully, that's the whole goal, right? Try. So what are we doing? Taka 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 taki ta taki ta. There's some building blocks there. Doubling. Doubling the three. Taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta. How are you? Well, thank you. You? I'm okay. Haven't really actually seen you in a million years. I know. Yeah. Now I have. Million years have now completed. Million years have completed. It's a new. It's a new. Alpha. New millennia. New millennia. Good. I can start over. It's nice to see you. You too. <laughs> Yeah. Add one more thing. If you do uh, some spaces, like add the, just the syllable ta. So now we have a one, and you could put some caps, some breaths. Taka, taka, ta. 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 See what I'm saying? Just playing. Try on your own. Good, good. So I wanted to take a little detour with that because the, the, the I was doing this with some fellow students recently as well. Like the this music is an improvised music. And the question is, how do you learn to improvise? Well, in one way, you could say, okay, study for 20 years and then start to improvise. <laughs> but in one, another way, you can start to improvise from, I didn't, this isn't the first class, but it could have been in the first class. Just these simple phrases to get that feeling of, how do I use these syllables and create something from it, right? Now, then you get into like all these, wow, I can create all these different kinds of patterns and things like that, you know? So if you play other instruments, forget about even Indian instruments, but if you're any other instrument and you start playing I've created some pattern, right? Just with taka and ta. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, the, the you, you know the part of it is you study the form, but you should study sort of the freedom aspect within the form. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right? So they sort of go hand in hand. Any questions on sort of playing with that? Now, again, just to open you know, your minds to all the possibilities, even just with taka and takita, we did, let me just demonstrate. I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to try to just restrict myself to two per beat, three per beat, four per beat. We'll see if I go to five or six. But if I go taka, I'll, I'll use ta, taka, and takita. So some gaps in it too. So ta, taka, ta, taka, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, taka, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta. I went to four. Taka, ta, ta, taka, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, 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 ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, 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 Taka, 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 taka,
So just playing with this. Two two phrases. I did uh, two for beat, three for beat, four for beat, five for beat. Right? Okay. So let's get back to Team Tall for a second. Did we talk? I think we, or maybe uh, William did. Did we talk about um, T high at all? Mm -hmm. Very briefly. Very briefly, okay. Do you remember anything about it? Repeating mm. the phrase three times? Uh -huh. It's like a vamp or something at the end of it, sort of? Or? Not a vamp. I mean, in the sense, no. I mean, a vamp usually, like in Western music, means like a particular groove mm -hmm. over maybe a chord change or something mm -hmm. like this. So. You might have been a little closer on track. It's like repeating a select phrase three times, uh -huh. but the way that we are practicing with William, we are also adding in like a very strange pause in between the, mm. the different phrases. Oh, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So three, that's not Tihai, that's just no. sort of a number game. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what we did to prepare for it. So I see. Oh, cool. Time. Cool. All right. Tihai just means you're taking a phrase, you repeat it three times, and that last syllable of the phrase lands on some or the first beat of the cycle. So if I'm doing teen tall and I go like te te din din ta 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 I just make ti high. Mm. It's one, two, three. I use the syllable ta 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 ta, right? I could go te te din din ta 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 mm. or te te din ta ta ta. It can be that simple, right? to being extremely complex, mm -hmm. right? Now, if we're in 16 beats and we want to do something three times, we have to go, so what is this relationship of three to 16? And it gets a little, kind of boggles your mind for a second. Like, how do you divide 16 by three? You can't do it in an even way, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what if we did it Instead of 16, if we thought two sounds, like taka, taka, so two sounds per beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that brings us to 32. But that doesn't really help us either, mm -hmm. right? But remember, we want to land on the first beat of the cycle. Mm -hmm. So actually, we need to add that first beat into our, our equation right now, which gives us 33, right? So then you divide that by three. What do you have? 11, right? So two per beat. One, two, three, two, three, two, four, two. Listen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I just made my T high. Try it just counting, but we'll do it this way. So one, two, three, four, five. 9, So that 11 got us where we wanted to be. If we take, um, so we have, look at some phrases you know, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, eight beats. Add three da's, da, da. So right there, actually, we also have a T high. Mm -hmm. You find this a lot. There'll be like a T high within a T high within a T high. Right? Mm -hmm. So we have a phrase, da, 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 that's a T high. But we're going to put that at the end of da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, 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 da. So let's say it first. Da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, 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 da. Now say it three times like that. Da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, 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 da. Da din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da 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 da. Beautiful. How are you? 
Good, man. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good. Now try that over. Let's let's do it the traditional this way. Da din din da da din din. Da 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 din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da 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 da. You made it. <laughs> Try it again. Da din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da 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 din din. Do you notice something about the second repetition? It's on the offbeat. Exactly, exactly. It's very common that that will happen. That will happen. We could do all kinds of things just with da's and din's and all this, right? Mm -hmm. You could double that, like da din din da da din din da da din din da da din din da 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 da. They can move kind of crazy. So the question becomes, can we do the same thing in other rhythm cycles? So pick a number between one and twenty-one. Thirteen. Thirteen. Knew you were gonna do that. Thirteen. So here's here's what you want to do. So three is our magic number, right? Okay. So thirteen is not going to work. But if we're sort of swimming around in a sea of numbers, we're looking like what's 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 the number closest to thirteen that Three has some sort of good relationship with twelve. Twelve, right? So then, divide that by three. What do you have? Four. Four. Okay. So check it out. If we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we only get to twelve, right? So if we put a little half space there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm -mm. One, two, three, four. We only get to thirteen. That a half space has gone a uh -uh, little gap in between. Mm -hmm. Now what if I just put a full space in there? One, two, three, four. Rest. One. Two, three, four. Rest. One, two, three, four. I've just done a TI. Now, instead of one, two, three, four, if we go. Simple, right? Ta kita, right? I can go ta ki ta ta. Ta ki ta ta. Ta ki ta ta. I've just done it. Try it. Ta ki ta ta. Ta ki ta ta. Ta ki ta ta. Make it more interesting. Double the ta ki ta. Ta ki ta ta ki ta ta. Ta ki ta ta ki ta ta. Ta ki ta ta ki ta ta. Suddenly, thirteen seems like no big deal, right? That's for the thirteen. That's for thirteen, right? Yes. Ta ki ta ta ki ta ta. Ta ki ta ta ki ta ta. Ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta. Doubling it and then doubling it again, right? Mm -hmm. Pick another number between. This looks like a card game or something. Pick, <laughs> another, pick another number between one and twenty-two. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So what do you want to do with seventeen? So um, again, what's what's going to be? If, so the first thing is, can I divide seventeen by three? No. No. The second thing, what if you double it? No. Thirty-four. Okay, but remember, we got to get to the next beat. So then 35, still no. 
So going that direction doesn't work. So, but 17, what's, again, what's the number closest to 17 you can divide by 2? 15. This, so that's very good. Let's see which one is work, working, 18 or 15, right? So 18, if we divide by 3, is what? 6, six right? So 17, for, for it's a little awkward with our finger counting system, but if you think, if you sort of double here, it's one way to do it, like, you know, 13, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 1, you know. But if I do 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, I've landed on 17. Now, actually, here's the interesting thing. Uh, actually, <laughs> eighteen works perfectly, right? Because actually, or, or because. For 17, we want to get to 18. Right. So in that case, if I say this this is 17, the second time around this is 17, and then this becomes 1, just for ease of counting, right? Like 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 1, right? Then look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I just made it there. Now let's make it a little easier. Let's say uh, six. Now that, remember that six, whatever the last number is, is sort of our final note, right? So let's say instead of six, we need a phrase of five. So if we go talk, uh, so the Esther, yeah. we're postponing the eighth. Postponing the eighth? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I can tell you more about it. But. So talk, uh, talk. Ta ta becomes our phrase. So what we're gonna say? Ta ka ta ki ta 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 ka ta ki ta 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 ka ta ki ta ta. So look at that. Ta ka ta ki ta 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 ka ta ki ta 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 ka ta ki ta ta. You just got there. We could do like we did before, just for fun. If you double the ta ka ta ki ta. Taka taki ta taka taki ta ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta. Pick another number. <laughs> nine. Nine. So nine. So I'm glad you picked that. So nine, you would th is divided by three. Mm -hmm. So remember, we got to get to ten. Yeah, just exactly. Yeah. So if I go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, I need another beat. Now, I could go, technically, I could go one, two, three, one, two, three, mm. one, two, three. That actually works. And it's mm. even not so wrong. Like, you could hear a key high like that. Mm. But usually, remember, we have first phrase, second phrase, third phrase. There's three different phrases. Usually, if we need to add some gaps, we want to put it between first and second, and then equal gap between second and third. Mm. So we need one more beat. Right? Now, what that means if we want to divide it between the first and second phrase and second and third, we need a half beat between each. Right? How are we going to do that? Let's say we divide the beat in four. Taka dini, or taka taka, taka taka, ah 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 those four. We need two, two little gaps like that in between. Mm -hmm. So, if I go one, two, three, So if you go, yeah, very easy. J 
just even no syllables. So if I just go, uh, 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 there's my three, right? But I have to put two little beats in between. I just made it there. If I use syllables, if I go like, I'm saying, that little kita I'm sort of whispering to give my little gaps there. I just made it. Try that with me. Now again to make it let's practice it again like that. Let's let's go to taka dimi. Taka dimi ta. Taka dimi ta. Taka dimi ta. Taka dimi taka dimi ta. Taka dimi taka dimi ta. Taka dimi taka dimi ta. See what's happening? Pick another number. <laughs> you picked a lot of odd ones. There there are some that also have a similar formula, like tinta did. And that formula in this, that case was double the number, so 16 times 2 becomes 32. Add one more for the next cycle, 33 divided by 3. So that works for teen tall. It works for some of the other cycles, too. So pick another number. So what would work for a job tall? Great. Perfect. So job tall is how many beats? 10. 10. So we can't do 10, right? Right. We could. We could analyze it in a similar way. Like, okay, look at 9, look at 12. What could we do there? But let's try this other formula, double 10. But you have to get to the next beat, so 21, 21 divide by, by seven. 7, right? So Japtal brings me up to here. We need 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, but remember, in this case, we're, we're, it's two sound, we're doubling it, so 2 sounds per beat. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That seven is the end. So actually six, just for the phrasing. Try that. Now, but to do it, we have to keep the beat and actually really keep the tala, right? So ta ki ta ta ki ta 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 ki ta ta ki ta 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 ki ta ta ki ta ta, right? Now, if you really want to do it, ti na di di na ti na di di na ta ki ta ta ki. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Remember this is one, two, one, two, three, one. You're welcome to join us here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in hiding in the corner there. What's your name? Mary. Mary, hi. 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 I'm Arthur's friend. I see. Welcome. So it, it's, it's not, it, what seems like a really complicated concept is not so complicated at the end of the day. Yeah, in terms of this T high concept. It becomes more complicated the more you develop it out, but it doesn't have to be so much. Right? Um,
go back to Tim Tal for a second, and we have our phrase of 11, right? Uh, now, what's what's the take for Jap call? Do you guys remember? Perfect. Yeah, di na di di na ti na di di na ta. Right. So we can use that as a as a t hive because we have ten. Add one dot at the end. Di na di di na ti na di di na ta. Di na di di na ti na di di na ta. Di na di di na ti na di di na ta. And again, we have 11, 11, 11. Give me one second. Um, so right now our, we have 11, 11, 11, okay? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you a little formula right now for these t-highs. Don't get scared, they have to look like algebra. The formula is x, y, x, y, x. Remember this, x, y, x, y, x. Or you can write it this way, x, y, x, y, x. x is my phrase. Y is that gap in between. So remember before when we were trying to do nine and we realized we can't just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We had to put a little gap in between. Mm -hmm. We had to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. In that case, X was three, a half beat was Y. So three, half beat, three, half beat, three, with that last note landing on the sum, right? In Team tall, if we're doing 11, 11, 11, x or y in this case is just zero. It's x plus zero, x plus zero, x. 11, 11, 11. Okay? Now, what if we played this out and said, uh, let me think here. Uh, 10. Instead of x being 10, we want to use a phrase of, or being 11, we want to use a phrase of 10. What does that mean we need to open half. this up? Huh? One and a half on each of them. If we're reaching 33. One and a half. Mm -hmm. So what would that be? X, X. We, could it, 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 that. we could turn it into something like that. So, for instance, Okay. Take the jap call again. Di na di di na ti na di di na. Let na be your last beat. Di na di di na ti na di di na. Okay. But in between, to get if we just go ta ki ta, same speed like di na di di na ti na di di na ta ki ta, we have three. But if we double it. Takita, twice as fast, doubling it that way. We have one and a half the amount of rhythm space, right? So look at this. Di na di di na ti na di di na takita. Di na di di na ti na di di na takita. Di na di di na ti na di di na. Di na di di na ti na di di na takita. D na d d na t na d d na d na d na d na 
V V I. See what happens? You following? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Try it. Just try it. Just keep the beat and do it here. D na D D na T na D D na ta ti ta D na D D na T na D D na ta ti ta D na D D na T na D D na. Try this way. D na D D na T na D D na ta ti ta D na D D na T na D D na ta ti ta D na D D na. So that was ten, one and a half, or, or uh, yeah, ten, one and a half, ten, one and a half, ten. Let's, let's try, what if we did nine? And there'd be zero for a space. No, no, I'm sorry, if we uh, stay in teen tall, but um, instead of doing eleven, 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 or ten, one and a half, ten, one and a half, ten. Let's x, remember our formula, let x be 9, 9, 9. So what's the gap or the y going to be? 6, or 3 each. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're trying to get to 33, yeah. is the number we're playing with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So 9, 9, 9, 27. 27. 6 more gets us to 33. Divide so 9, we can go da, din, din. Da, or da din din da da din din da da. Let me let me make sure I'm gonna do it right. Da din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da da try that da din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da da right try this way da din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da 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 din din da da din din da da. Try one more time. Da din din da da din din da da. Da din din da da din din da da. Da din din da da din din da da. Yeah. Let's just take it back down a little bit. Let's say uh, seven. Sixes. Well, if seven's going to get us where? 21. 21. Then to get to 33, we would need 12. Mm -hmm. And then chop that, so each one would be six. Yeah, perfect. So six, we can say we have our taka, takita, and one ta, right? Taka, takita, ta. Uh. Resting after the top? I think so.
Seven. 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 You're doing it in seven. There's seven is the phrase, and then six is each rest. Da din din da da din din ta ki ta ta ki ta ta da din din da da din din ta ki ta ta ki ta ta. I'm making some mistake. I'm sorry, you guys. Are you saying that right in seven, da din din da da din din? Uh, yeah, you can do it that way in terms of the phrase, but um, should be twelve. You're right. I don't know where I'm making the mistake. You can put me on the spot. <laughs> I'm stumped. I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> I should come back to it. It's good, you know. Sometimes after years and years of doing it, like, wait, why is that not working? I have to think about it. Unless you guys can help me figure it out. I thought I figured out for a second. Yeah, show but us. I went over it, and then you will trade places. I'm I'm breaking the phrase into the seven, like da din din da da din din. What's the seven though? Um, Oh, we said seven, didn't we? Yeah, I think that's... That's yeah. why. I'm trying to do it in six the whole time. Thank six you. Is <laughs> I'm sorry. I have so much. I won't bore you with all the different things going on, but it's like my mind went, what? why is this not working? Because I was like, we need one more beat. What's happening? Okay. Sorry about that. So, six. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very simple. Taki the taki the tap. Taki the taki the tap. The taki the taki the tap. That's all. Very simple. Taki the taki the tap. Taki the taki the tap. Taki the taki the tap. Try it. It's so funny. Taki the taki the ta taki the taki the ta taki the taki the ta. So when we do this, it gets into this very interesting um, concept of the space of sort of the negative space of this. If I'm just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, it's a T high. It's great, but you don't even hear it so much. When you start to put these gaps wider and wider, you really hear it. Taki the taki the ta. Taki the taki the ta. Taki the taki the ta. So you can play with the math of all of this. Not not as like a math game, but but actually to see see how it works musically. Yeah. People get really geeked out on all these tea highs, and they like spend hours figuring out. Okay, if I want to do a tea high from beat two and a half in a seventeen beat cycle, or, you know. but the the point of it is is uh, I mean yeah we can calculate all of it, but you start to just feel them a little bit. It, they feel natural somehow after a while. Can right? some tea highs start already into the met the the, the cycle? The cycle yeah, I was actually just going to go there. So w what we've been doing is sum to sum T highs, right? Now what if I want to go da din din da da din din da da tin tin ta uh, 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 uh. I'm going to do just from, from beat 13. Four, four beat T high. Meaning one, two, three, four, uh.
don't, it's even for me, it's easy to overthink it, right? If I, so let, but following the logic we were just doing. So now I'm going one, two, three, four, uh, right? Which is really one, two, three, four, five, right? So divide by Five divided by three. I'm sorry, fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> three fifths. Uh, five divided fifteen by three. divided by three. Five. Oh, sorry. Why am I saying fifteen? Hold on a second. Um, you have to excuse me. I'm, 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 I'm leaving on a trip in the morning. My partner just bought a house today, and I'm in the middle of a fundraising campaign for my work. So. I have to excuse my my. Oh, you're talking about the next trip. Sorry, it's like working my mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to like work out my own why the logic was. No, that's fine. <laughs> Think of it this way, okay? Divide, so I have four uh, beats, right? So four doesn't quite work to divide evenly by three, okay? So our first line of defense, double that. Eight doesn't work, really. But we want to get here, right? We want to get to nine, actually. If we think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, now it's easy, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I've done it, right? So, da din da da din din da da din din da da tin tin ta. One two three. One two three. One two three. Yeah. Or ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta. So try ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta. So da din din da da din din da da tin tin ta. Ta 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 ta. We've just done a very common T high. Or let's double it. Ta 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 Again. So that's the what what I'm teaching in the class is is the the bare bones of all of this. It's the skeletal structure of how all of this works. And then you study tabla or Anything in uh, you sing it, you know, you're playing it on the road or whatever. You you play different tabla symbols. Then it just becomes a matter of studying all the stuff. You can play it out. You know, you're just filling these things up with whatever tools you have. Yeah. Do you have any advice on how to speak really fast? <laughs> just practicing it. Taka 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 taka. Evenly practicing it evenly, not like taka 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 taka. Not like you're you're falling down a hill, but you're you're shifting gears evenly from two per beat, four per beat, all of this. Yeah. So now. Here's another way to analyze this, and then we'll stop for today. Say, look at that T high. Taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. Because you you asked the question if I wanted to start it somewhere into the tala. So I said let's start it from beat 13, meaning four beats away. What if I want to do this? Is a different kind of question. What if I want to do that same phrase? Taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. Those that, that same three phrases. Or the same phrase three times, but I want to start instead 13 from 12. 
got a little half deep breath. <laughs> like, uh oh, you, you okay, man? I'm sorry. <laughs> Aneurysm. <laughs> Hello, 911. <laughs> you could do half deep rests. Yeah. Yeah. Taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. Taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. Actually, in this case, taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. Because taka taka ta, taka taka ta. So, why is that? Taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. There's a little quarter beat rest there already. If I add a Two more gaps. Taka taka ta a a. Taka taka ta a a a. I have actually three gaps. Taka taka ta. Taka taka ta. Taka taka ta. See what I'm saying? The original one. Taka taka ta. Taka taka ta. Taka taka ta. Taka taka ta. There's a little quarter beat gap. If you're saying add, we have to add one more beat, right? But we're gonna divide it in between the first and second and second and third repetitions. So half beat, half beat. So we need two more. Add it, taka taka ta, we already have one there, so there's a gap of three. Taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. Da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din, din. Taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. Taka taka ta. Now, here's another question. So if I went originally, taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. What if I, uh, I'll just give you the answer because we're all of our brains are fried here. Mm -hmm. If I get rid of that gap, taka, how? Where would I? I'll ask you the question. If I go instead of taka taka ta taka taka ta taka taka ta, if I go taka taka ta taka taka ta taka taka ta, no gap at all. Where do I need to start? I start the first one. So our base is taka taka ta taka taka ta taka taka ta. Where do I need to start if I want to get rid of the gap? Fourteen. Well, let's try. Taka taka ta taka taka ta taka taka ta. No. And you were starting at thirteen with the phrase you're saying. Yeah. Thirteen and a half. If perfectly <laughs> meaning the upbeat of thirteen. So like na tin tin na taka taka ta taka taka. Ah, sorry. Ta tin tin ta taka taka ta taka taka ta taka taka ta. I'm just playing with these gaps, right? It's in one way it's it's an advanced concept, but. But you start to see, oh my god, all these possibilities, all these different things I can do, right? So there's a few things. There's going any, what we did today is looking at T-highs and going sum to sum. We started with 16, we did 11, 11, 11, right? And then I played this game, okay, give me any cycle. And we said 17, 9, these things. And then we explored how can we do sum to sum T-highs. By the end, we said, okay, instead of sum to sum, what about just four beats away from sum? So what we just did right then was looking at four beats away from sum, or five beats away from sum, or whatever we want to do. You see what I'm saying? So it's sort of a different approach that way. Any questions? <laughs> don't, just let all of this sort of, don't worry about thinking about it too much. This, I mean, you saw even for me today, like I, I got really stuck, like why is this not working? There, there's, I, I'm, I'm giving you a way to think about it and to analyze it, but it's just one way. There's, even for me, every time I teach this, I realize, oh, I, you could think about it this way, or you could analyze it this way, you could, you could break it down this way or that way. There, there's, this is just one sort of approach to understand that. You know? Again, the fundamentals of the class, really, feeling the beat, feeling these rhythm cycles, learning some of these, these Kate does these different patterns. Right? Remind me next time to dig in to some other rhythm cycles, learning the actual clapping patterns and the kekas, you know, because uh, I should cover that. I should make sure to cover some of these things. It's in your books, um, and it's online, but it's good if we can practice, practice them. It would be good for me to practice them, too. And then we can explore some of these concepts inside those cycles. Yeah? Can we do one in seven next time? Sure. Yeah, so seven, do you know what the take is for seven, or the name of the taller? The seven rupak? Yeah, exactly. So I don't know it, I just know rupak to seven. Yeah, yeah, so rupak is tin, tin, na, tin, na, tin, na. So three plus two plus two. Tin, tin, na, tin, na, tin, na. 
Now 7, right? If I double it, I have 14, right? But I want to get the sum, so 15. So my magic number is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Din, din, na, din, na, din, na. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7, 7. Uh, 5, 5, 5, 5 to get to the all the way around the cycle. All right. You guys look as fried as I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. One question that's not... Uh, the mathematics of this, you say, you know, obviously some master of this. How long does the improvisation, improvisation come before someone's able to really just pull it out of a hat, or at least? You know, so this, in one way, what I'm giving you is a beginning class, and in another way, it's an advanced class. And that's in the sense that uh, if you're studying, like, so say you're, you're, you know, born and raised in India in a family of musicians, right? You would just learn music from them, <laughs> learn public compositions, songs, whatever, and these concepts would be embedded in there, and you just kind of start to know them, and then later on, you might yourself analyze them, or your teacher shows them to you, but it, it starts to be like this, da 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 you just start to hear and feel that, because you've done it so many times, you're, you're not counting, so no one... I mean, there might be some geniuses on stage that they're playing and they're calculating something. Yeah. There have been people like that. But for the most part, it's it's not really your mathematical brain that's doing it. Sure, that's, yeah. You know what I mean? But this this is a way to sort of break it up and understand it from that point to then get back to the goal of actually doing the music. There's no point, it's no one in, in, in composition ahead of time, they're working on a piece or something. I guess composition, I guess improv or sort of, Anathema to one another, so it doesn't. No, they're not because um, this. So the, our, you know, our teacher, Alain Brocani, used to say this. This music isn't actually improvised; it's spontaneously composed. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you study compositions, 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 so that as you play, it's not that you're improvising out of thin air. The compositional ideas that you learn from your guru are coming through naturally in your playing. In the same way as I, as we have a conversation. I'm not really, in one way you could say I'm improvising, but every word I'm using and the meaning and the syntax and the grammar, I didn't make it up, you know. We, we both speak English, so we're improvising a conversation, but you could say we're composing a conversation. Mm. See what I'm saying? Slightly different way to look at it. I get it, yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, especially in our tradition and Kansab's way of playing, um, you don't like, you know, you could sit and figure out the most complicated tea highs and, and polish them so on stage you're ready to play them and it oohs and ahs everybody. But that's cheating a little bit. Sure. Really, it's, and it's, it's you kind of getting in the way of the music as opposed to, he all the time, that was actually his brilliance, he would go for these crazy tea highs and miss them and then start, keep the phrase going until somehow it worked out. So the musical tension and release was incredible because he himself was in it in the moment. He wasn't playing a trick on you, like, oh, I'm going to pretend to miss it and do something new. <laughs> he was just going for it, and sometimes it wouldn't work, and he'd keep playing with the phrase and touring with it, and then, oh, wow, okay, now it worked. You know? So he himself was in that process, as opposed to, I've polished everything out. It's a difference, you know, when you, for me, I grew up as a jazz musician, so, you know, like, you know, I can appreciate incredible Western classical music, but there's a different spirit when a jazz musician is playing. And similar with this music, the beauty of it is the improvisation, you know, because there's just something in that moment that doesn't happen if it's just fixed. So, to, to long answer to your question, so for instance, if like these guys here I'm teaching, I'm trying to get them ready to audition for our teacher to study directly from him, right? It's not I'm saying, okay, you guys get ready to improvise in front of him, no way, right? You know, we, we're learning the composition, they're polishing it, they practice it every week. I yell at them if they get it wrong, whatever it is, right? I don't really yell at them. If you're doing a concert, you know, like every, the students here, like, we'll study what we've learned, and then usually our first concert, it's like, it's, it's not a concert, it's a recital. You're playing back what you've learned as best as you can. 
maybe the next couple concerts, same thing. Maybe eventually you're like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to improvise a little bit in here, right? Eventually, though, the idea is, is you know, you get on stage, you take your instrument out, you tune it, the audience is there, and speaking, of, I'll just speak as a tabla player, you might have decided ahead of time I want to play teen tall, tabla solo and teen tall. And then you start, the melody starts, and you just start playing, and you, you start to follow the music, right? And in that case, the improvisation might be 100%. It might be uh, coming in the sense that you have fixed pieces, but you haven't fixed when you're going to play them. In the moment, you remember this beautiful traditional composition and you play it at that moment because it just comes to you. You know what I mean? So there's there's deeper and deeper levels of how you how and when you improvise. But frankly, this thing we did today, you're improvising. And it puts you in a certain different brainwave, actually, if we measured it, frankly, than, than just, okay, I learned my lesson and I'm reciting back what I learned in the lesson. So both are important. And you, I, my feeling is you, is, is, it's, is you should, with the guidance of a teacher, you should practice both. It's not that you guys should leave and go, oh, and now I know Indian music. I like, Please don't do that. So you have to, you know, you get corrected constantly. But you have to, you know, learn to express yourself at some point, right? Okay. Getting all deep here, man. <laughs> all the class. I don't know what's happening.